Our GMA cover story. Yes. New research suggests popular diabetes and weight loss drugs could help curb alcohol and drug mm. cravings. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Tara Narula, is here with the details. Tell us about the study. Well, George, this was a review of 40 studies that really looked at the connection between GLP drugs and alcohol and substance use disorders. And they did, in fact, find that preclinical and clinical studies show that these GLP drugs seem to reduce both the use and craving for mm. alcohol, tobacco, opioids, and other psychostimulant substances. So you may be wondering, how could that be? GLPs, we think about them in the intestines, they're produced in the intestines. Well, actually, they're also produced in the brain. And there are receptors for GLPs spread throughout the brain in areas that control things like stress, reward, satiety, or the sensation of fullness. So the idea is that you're probably interacting with or touching these pathways in the brain that may also be the same pathways affected by addiction. We also know mm. that obesity, certain forms, and addiction also share similar crosstalk and pathways in terms of neuroimaging studies like PET scans that have shown areas of the brain light up with certain types of foods and also addictive substances. Neurotransmitters that we see in obesity also similar to the ones in addiction. So there's a lot of reason why these pathways may overlap. Also, some of the drugs that we use to treat alcohol use disorder, a substance use disorder, are similar to the drugs or actually are the same drugs in cases we use for obesity like naltrexone or topamine. Max. Hmm. So it definitely makes sense biologically how there could be this interaction but there. This is so fascinating. Really Never, interesting. Because you always thought about it internally, but not Correct. how it affects the brain. Talk about why this is important. Well, Robin, when you think about the fact that 46 million adults are affected by alcohol and substance use disorder and 2 million adolescents, and the reality is we don't have a lot of great drug therapies for yeah. these individuals, the suffering is on an individual level, a society level, a fami family level. The, um, the problems that come downstream with medical issues like cancers that are associated with obesity, cardiovascular disease, liver disease. Um, and then, you know, you so to have a drug therapy that could work in a mm -hmm. situation where really less than a quarter of individuals with these alcohol and substance use disorders are being treated could really open the door to help a lot of people. Now, the researchers point out this research is early, so we do mm -hmm. need a lot more research to understand the mechanisms about how this is working in the brain, number one, and also is there uh, a clinical effect long term that could be adverse in terms of side effects for using drugs in particular in people who have alcohol and substance use what disorder. Do you think, because when you think about it, I mean, I know GLP ones have been around longer than, than we know. Yes. But people are still concerned about long-term effects. We still don't know long-term effects, do we? So these drugs, actually, I mean, who would have thought that the venom of the Gila monster in the 1990s would become the beginnings of the GLP drugs? That's wow. where we, that's where it came from. But we have studied these in diabetics for a long time, mm. for over 15 years. So we really do have a good understanding of the side effects of these drugs and the safety profile. But we're seeing them used, Robin, for indications or being studied for things like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's, liver disease, osteoarthritis in the knee, polycystic ovarian syndrome, heart failure, wow. chronic kidney disease, mm -hmm. and now addiction. So it's just incredible what we've seen in terms it of is. the potential implications. Yeah. Yeah. All from the Gila monster. Yeah. From, from, oh, <laughs> so you heard it from <laughs> the Gila I guess that's the G. Yes, in the, in the there GLP. you go. <laughs> Dr. Narula, thank you as always. Thank you, you really break it down and help us understand.